We were always connected. Growing up next door to each other, we found that we would unavoidably become fast friends. I spent every afternoon at our house, playing dress up, and running around outside in summer. We were BFFs at school, at home, at dance, at volleyball. There were good times, bad times, fights and smiles. She was always there for me. I knew I could rely on her for any questions, problems, dilemmas, or annoyances. We always trusted each other. Then with the first email account, our communication no longer relied on paper. Then Skype came along and the technology was amazing. And when personal cell phones came into our lives, we knew we would be connected for life. We planned our futures. Never did they not include each other. Same universities. Bridesmaids at each other's weddings. And getting our kids together for play days. One day, out of the blue, she texted me saying that she was coming over immediately. I tried to delay as long as possible. And then she told me. I was leaving, moving to the other side of the world. I was speechless, then confused, and then angry, and then sad. As a farewell, I gave her a map. With the handwritten message, it, it made, made the, the world, world seem smaller. smaller. I knew that technology could still unite us. With phones and computers, at least I would see her every week on Skype. The future that had once seemed so bright, blissful, crystal clear, and happy, suddenly, suddenly seemed dark. The first thing I did the next morning was email her. I wasn't going to be out of touch for a moment. The message popped up on the phone just as I was about to board my plane. This wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I replied instantly, promised to call her as soon as I got there and settled in. It was all going to be okay. When I arrived, I turned on my phone and there was no reception. I was anxious. I hadn't received a call for three days. Something must have gone wrong. Desperately, I turned my computer and to my heart, there was no Wi-Fi. I was so mad. The only remaining string tying us together had been cut and she would never know why. I never understood why she never replied. I thought I knew her. I must have sent her 10 emails and 20 phone messages, and she never replied. Turns out 21st century technology has its limits. And friendship has its limits too. <laughs>